Hey guys, it's Melissa with MelissaEsplin.com and Calligraphy.org. I'm excited to kind of play around with this Ruddle Co. roller. It's a super fun butcher paper roller. You know, I've seen it used for a lot of different purposes, you know, in restaurants and um, art. And I really, I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer having this in my home as a way to decorate seasonally because I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to seasonal decorations. So I can just quickly whip up a little greeting and I'm done, which is kind of nice. So uh, I had a really easy time installing this. It's a little tricky because you do have to install it into studs or you need to use uh, anchors, wall anchors. But if you, <sighs> I mean, I would highly recommend getting different wall anchors than the ones that they have provide in the kit because the wall anchors in the kit are just, they're a little bit on the small side. It's really easy to strip through them. Um, but besides that, it was pretty easy to put together. I mean, it took my husband and I maybe a total of 15 minutes to put it together on the wall in a place that we liked. So all in all, I'd say that was a win. The paper itself is really thick. So I'm using a Copic marker. It's a little bit dry, so I'm dipping it into fountain pen ink. Super ghetto, but it didn't bleed through at all. And I'm also using a Molito, um, no, a crink marker. The crink markers are notoriously uh, thick with their ink and bleed through most papers. And this did not bleed on my wall, which was pretty great. Uh, it does soak up a lot of pigment, so my lines look a little bit drier than they usually do on other papers, but the fact that it doesn't bleed through onto my white walls is a definite win. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful 2019 this year. I'm hopeful that I can create some more videos this year, and I hope you'll stick around. Check out calligraphy.org if you'd like to learn calligraphy or hand lettering. And check me out on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Burr. Take care.